Welcome to hard times And feeling low Do you like sinning? No Well you will be before you go We got lots of gambling Oh, and we're telling lies You're certainly welcome Hard times, yes. Hope you're feeling welcome to hard times. Winter is pretty tough, I think for me especially. I think um, it's really about grinding, right? Preseason, um, it's just like summer, so you have this long period before you start racing, so competition is pretty far away, um, and you're just thinking about like mileage, right? So you're, you're gaining volume, um, you're increasing your mileage each week. doing like the workouts you were doing in the fall maybe you're building up mileage a little bit doing some of the more boring workouts I'd say like hill sprints like pickups on and off like it's not that much fun to do that kind of thing but um, yeah I think partially is it's exciting because it's like a like I said it's a reset which in running feels pretty good because you can kind of whether the last season went well or not you kind of have a fresh fresh slate and you can, you know, chase uh, new goals, and and it's it's just kind of refreshing, I guess, because a week off really does make a difference in running. And when you're able to start a new winter training block, that I think that's a good feeling. But that being said, like winter training's pretty brutal. Um, a lot more energy starts to like happen to workouts and race and, and uh, long runs and just like the mileage runs. Um, yes, yeah, so you're coming from this like kind of like cold season, um, lots of mileage, not a lot of things to look forward to, and then suddenly you start looking forward to like races. Um, right now I'm like 90 minutes out, so I'm pretty nervous, but also super, super excited. It's kind of like that period of limbo where you're, you just want to get out there and race and somewhat get it over with, but also like you want to be as prepared as possible, I guess. Goodbye, baby. Yes, I'm going. Now there's just a little bit of added anxiety, um, especially at an indoor meet. Just trying to get in and get out as quickly as possible while also like properly warming up and being in the right place at the right time. I think like most track athletes would agree it's already a bit stressful to kind of navigate a track meet. We had to do testing before we came here and it was kind of hard to coordinate like getting results back in the 72 hour time period that they wanted. Um, and then also just like, you know, wearing a mask while you're warming up inside. It's just what you got to do. It's, it's, it's less than ideal, but we're trying to be as safe as possible, so there's just an added element, I would say. I'm excited, dude. The interview got me hyped. <laughs> you doing good? Yeah.
So the goal is sub 1440, which is about like 70 second 400s. So the tentative plan is just to run a bunch of 70s and then with two miles in, just start competing. So pretty much all season we've been running unattached, which just means that like, yeah, in a normal season we'd be running like for our school and our result would show up next to Pomona Pitzer. But this season because our school isn't technically having sports, um, we've just been running with no uh, affiliation. Obviously this year has been kinda, kinda tough just with, e like personally, uh, like last spring, I was really looking for, forward to my outdoor track season. That got canceled, and then I turned my focuses to cross country, which also got canceled. So it's kind of been a tough year in terms of finding uh, motivation to run. Um, it's kind of been been stripped away from the usual like week to week, just like focus on focus on the next race ahead of you, because you can't really do that when there's nothing on the schedule. Um, and I think a lot of a lot of the guys, as the workheads have gotten tougher, and the mileage has piled on the season, uh, it it's it's tough to to put in all that work um, and kind of just be be running these like random meets in North Carolina. We've kind of realized that uh, well, national D three nationals is being held like an hour away from us here in North Carolina, uh, and. Uh, looking at the performance lists across the country, like our times, uh, the times a few of us have run, are really right up there in qualifying. Um, so we've kind of just realized in the last couple days that there's a possibility that some of us could go to that national meet in Greensboro, um, but we have to we have to talk to the athletic administration about if we could really uh, run under Pomona Pitzer, which we would have to do to to run that meet um, and how we would be able to do that. So if, if we would be able to run in this national meet, I think that would help refocus the guys a lot uh, and, and motivate them in this last like six weeks of hard training. You know, I think we all love something about running and endurance sports, but I think there is something to be said for you know, the fact that running is probably not the most fun sport and it's probably not the easiest sport out there um, either. You're really, you know, pushing your body um, to the maximum. I think sometimes it can be, you know, hard when running isn't going so well and, you know, maybe you came back from like a bad workout and you're like, oh my God, you know, like, am I shit at running, you know, like what's going on, you know, like how long is this going to be or whatever. Even if you can um, physically do that, like, you know, you're you're emotionally thinking like that you're you know you're in pain for a sustained amount of time, so it's not easy to get through some of those things. But you always gotta you know, I guess remember running has like a lot of ups and downs, and you know it's all part of the process. And you gotta think about you know those kind of long term goals and like you know this is just you know a step a step in the right direction, like an obstacle in your path. I think there are a lot of obstacles in running. Um, that can make it very difficult, um, but I think at the end of the day, there's there's a reason all of us are you know are going at it the way we are. Uh, yeah, threw a mile today, just trying to go down some cut downs. Um, great weather out, obviously, <laughs> um, but no, I um, went to the first one, felt okay, hit the pace, uh, and then I just did the second one with Jake. Um, he kind of dropped me, and I was feeling kind of kind of shitty so uh decided to call for today <clears throat> you know it's tough sometimes uh you don't get those workouts 
uh, running, running can be tough sometimes, but uh, no, it should be good. Get back tomorrow, hopefully it's better weather, better weather, so. I mean, obviously it was tough, it wasn't the work I wanted, but uh, no, I'm not deterred. I mean, it happens, and I know it's, uh, um, I'll get back tomorrow, and it'll be fine, and uh, I should, uh, yeah, no, we all have better workouts, so it's okay. All of us committed to, to run for Pomona Pitzer um, because we wanted to run with the sage hen on our chest, with the PP, um, you know, down our back. And having that opportunity taken away kind of just made you realize, like, while I do want to, you know, compete at a national level, and I know I can, and I know everyone else can, um, I want to compete against my former self. And you know, there's a there's a max potential that you can have every race. And you have to, your your goal, your motivation has to be to maximize that potential that you, that you have on that starting line. And so when we when we didn't have a name for uh, Pomona Pitzer next to us uh, on entry lists, I entered myself um, as a Hard Times Athletic Club athlete uh, because we this year we really embraced the hard times and the tough times, uh, being down and out. I was injured. I had some bad mental health stuff going on. Um, I thought I was probably going to quit the sport and I just came back to Asheville with the guys and just embraced the suck and being out of shape and being hurt and, and, and falling out of love with the sport and by embracing that process kind of fell back in love with the sport and started racing again and it went well and seeing the other guys do well it's just magic so we decided to come up with this club this hard times club that's all about the universality of the tough times because the 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 results might not be universal everybody's not going to run 12 minutes for 5k but the experience is whether it's the best guy in the world or the worst guy in d3 everybody feels the same pain and the same heartbreak and disappointment and then at the same time when they overcome that it's the same reward uh and the same just absolute jubilation um in the small victories and the big victories and that's what hard times is all about uh it's about getting up every day and embracing exactly what the what the name of the club is the hard times uh because It'll all pay off, and then if you can love the hard times, then then the payoff and the tough parts are great, and it just is like fully embodying like what we want the sport to be and what we want our experience to be. This is kind of like the big me of the season. Um, you know, we've been working hard all, you know, all semester, um, and this is kind of our first big me. There's like a thousand athletes here. All of us have kind of had this meet we flame to the back of our mind. Been looking like, you know, for a really fast time there. In our first outdoor race, I, I had a really bad performance, and that was, I was not happy with that at the time. And. Um, yeah, so since that I've had a couple like kind of okay, decent performances this last two weeks, but I'm really just tr hoping for that big pop-off moment and hopefully it's here tonight. Specifically, the hardest parts about running is like the three hour window before the race. There's a reckoning that like I'm gonna hurt today. And it's a pain that like only happens a couple times a year, a couple times in your life. Um, and that's a difficult reckoning, you know? It's just, it's, it's super tough to be like, this is gonna be one of the most painful events of my life. You know, and I feel like that's hyperbole, but like not really, like it is. You, see, you, can, you can feel, you can feel it starting to get a little tingly. Um, you can't really focus on anything. I try to bring my homework to, to like these meets, and you just can't. And then one hour to go, you start to warm up. And usually the warm-up is like the nicest part because it's like the easy running before the hard running. I'm getting nervous like talking about this. Um, 
and then like right around like like I said like two minutes before the race, right? So they call you to the line, and you're on the line. Like I'm like shaking. Like I don't know how anyone else does it. Um, some of my other teammates are great at handling it, but I am like literally like you'll see me like shaking like this, like jumping, um, just because like the amount of like adrenaline and like nerves that is like coursing through you is just unreal. dynamic and then the fact of having other like peers who are just like so passionate about what you're passionate about and care so much about like you as a runner as an athlete but also like as a person um, it does meaningful even outside the track and outside the, also off the uh, running course um, it's just I think that's a really really cool part I think in my opinion the race doesn't really matter it's about the feeling after the race or even like an hour after or even like two hours um, when you're sitting there and, and you finish the race and you hug your teammates. Or it's, it's an hour after the race when you go out and get dinner and you're just, you're just so proud of what, like, what your teammates did and you're proud of what you did, um, no matter if it's good or bad. That's the most. That's life. You know, we can have like the most, like the crown achievement, like your PR. You know, you you made it to this big race, but that's not the most meaningful part. It's it's, it's before and after.